Longview News Journal, if y'all want to start and ask a question, and y'all each get two questions, and um, like I said, we're just going to keep it flowing. Mm -hmm. But if you wouldn't mind saying your name. Yeah. I'm, I'm Christina yeah. Lay, and I'm from the Longview News Journal. Um, Elizabeth, what would your message be to young women about what they can do if they find themselves in a dangerous situation like you were placed in? What's your advice to them? To get away from it, <laughs> to yell, to scream, to kick, mm -hmm. to go somewhere, find go somewhere with somebody else, um, go into a well-lit area, go into a store, or go to a mother with children. Mm -hmm. um, there's so many things that we can do to help arm our children, help arm our young, our young people, so that they don't ever wind up in these situations. Mm -hmm. And um, what are your thoughts on the case of the, Clu the Cleveland women who were enslaved for so long? and? Their kidnapper was sentenced today. What are your thoughts on that? I think those women are just incredible, and I think they deserve every happiness. And I think it's up to us to allow them their privacy so that they can move forward with their lives. And if at any point they decide to tell their story, that should be completely up to them, and we should respect their privacy until that point. Thank you. Thank you. Christine, would y'all like to ask your last question now? Okay, George Lynn, would you like to ask her, do you have any questions? For yes, I have a question. Why, uh, you know, people go through a lot, you know, different types of uh, trafficking problems. What would be the major thing that you could actually say that has helped you that other people could do, especially women? I would just share the advice that's been shared with me that was given to me by my mom. Uh, shortly after I came home from being rescued, my mom pulled me aside and said, Elizabeth, this man has taken so much of your life away from you that you'll never get back. The best punishment you could ever give him is to be happy and to not let him steal another second of your life. That's it, briefly. <laughs> but I would share that advice with everybody else. I mean, we all have our trials, we all have our struggles, and it, sometimes it just doesn't seem like it's ever gonna end but you just have to remember that we still have a life to keep going, to keep living for, and we shouldn't allow our trials and our struggles to hold us back. Thank you. Do you have a second question? No, okay. I'm good. CPS, if you'd like to. Okay, hi Elizabeth, I'm Jamie with CPS 19. Um, your parents launched a massive public awareness campaign when you went missing. Do you feel like parents in their shoes should do the same thing, or what are the steps that some parents should take? Well, I don't think I can say what any parent should do. I do know what a powerful tool the media is and how grateful that I am that it is there and that it did pick up my story so much because who's to say, I mean, had it not, had my story not been so publicized, who's to say that I would have been rescued? I don't know. So do I think the media is very important and very powerful? Absolutely. Can it be scary and a little dangerous? Yes, it can. Okay, and also tell us about your life today exactly, um, what you're up to now, and you're married, right? Yes, I am married. Um, thrilled to be here today. Very excited for tonight's event. Um, just very happy in my life right now. Hi, I'm Summer Dash, I'm with KLTV 7 News. Um, I'd like to know, we talked a little earlier about the Arab Castro sentencing. What would you say to those girls? in moving forward after that day. Never feel guilty, never feel forced into doing anything you don't want to do. And find those things that are going to make you happy. Find those things that are that you've always wanted to do. And don't spend another second reliving the past. And how would you what would you say to girls who have been in some sort of traumatizing situation and any sort of traumatizing situation, how do you move on and trust people again and, and live without constant fear, what would you tell them? It's very important, I think, to stress here that everybody has their own path and for what works for some may not work for others. So with that being said, I would say it's very important to find your own pathway to being happy again. But I would also say don't give up, never give up. You can find it. There is happiness still out there. It's not evaporated from life completely. It's still there, you should never give up. And 
these horrible things that take place in all of our lives, it doesn't mean our life is over and it doesn't make us any less of a person. And some people don't know any better, so they might say something dumb or might ask something inappropriate, but they just don't know any better and it's okay. You can keep going. That event doesn't define who you are. Uh, I'm Texas with KTK. Uh, what would you say to parents who may be looking for someone who, one of the children that was abducted? What advice would you give to them not giving up? Well, definitely not giving up. I mean, miracles happen all the time. I am here. The three Ohio women were safely rescued. I mean, J.C. Duber and Sean Hornbeck. I mean, children do come home just because they haven't yet doesn't mean that they won't. So I would share that with them, but also just that we all support them, we all love them, we're all here to help them do whatever it takes to bring their children home. I decided that nine months of my life had already been taken and that they'd already been bad enough. I didn't need to continually hold on to that and relive that. So I always just tried to look forward. I always tried to do things um, that would make me happy, that would be productive, that would help move me forward, that would give me more experiences. So when I look back on my life, I don't just sit there and think, geez, what happened to me? Oh, I was kidnapped. That's all. So. I think it's very important to continue to live because I think the more you live through, the less our traumatic experiences stick out. 